Hello and welcome to this Real Sync video for our integrations between Follow Up Boss and Google Contacts. This video will go over how to set up each of the integrations as well as how each of them function. To start, we will go through the setup of each integration and we will start with the Follow Up Boss to Google Contacts integration. You're going to click Add Integration. Your source will be Follow Up Boss and your target will be Google Contacts. If you click on the blue instructions button on each side, it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set it up. If you click connect on the follow-up boss side, it is going to ask you for an API key. To access your API key, you will go to follow-up boss, admin, API, and create your API key. This API key can be used for both of the integrations, so you can save it in order to set up the integrations with the same API key. Otherwise, you can create a new one for each of the integrations. Go ahead and paste that API key in the field provided. And once it states that it's been verified, you can click close. On the Google Contact side, there is an option to add multiple accounts. This requires admin access. You will click this and then sign in with Google if you would like to add multiple accounts. Otherwise, click sign in with Google. Select your account and then click allow. It should now state it has been verified and you can click close and click next. On this screen, you can name your integration as well as choose your source options. This sync bot options here is for selecting the agents you would like to send invitations to for this multiple accounts option. Otherwise, under source options, you have your filters for contact created, contact updated and tag added. Once you have finished with those, go ahead and click activate. And once you receive this screen, it, it is telling you that your integration has been activated and you will now see it on your dashboard. Let's move on to the setup for Google Contacts to follow up boss. Click add integration. Your source will be Google Contacts and your target will be follow up boss. Again, you can click on the blue instructions button if you need it. It is a very similar set up so you're going to click connect gives you the option again for multiple accounts click sign in with google once it states it's been verified go ahead and click close and move on go ahead and paste the api key in the field provided do you have it in the field click verify once it states it's been verified click close and next here's where you can name this integration and you have source and target options under your source options you have contact created and updated and then these options here are as if are if you do not have these fields currently in follow up boss it will add it for you and this is where you will choose your primary phone type for the target options you have the option to add a conversation tag this is a tag that will be added automatically to the lead whenever it is created in follow up boss i'm going to add the active tag save close and activate this will show that it has been activated and you are ready to use your integration. We will now proceed with the walkthrough for the follow up boss to Google contacts integration. You're going to go ahead and click add person and the required fields for this integration is going to be first name, last name and email address. You will want to ensure that you are signed into the agent profile that is going to be the agent on this lead as it will assign it automatically and you want to make sure that the email address for the agent matches the email address for Google Contacts. If you pop over here to Google Contacts, we will see that it has populated with the first name, last name, and email address. So let's fill in some information here on, in Follow Up Boss and send it on over. Okay, so I have filled in the phone number. I've added three different phone numbers so you can see them go over. I've added an address. I've added a relationship. Whenever you're adding a relationship, just remember that the name and relationship are the only two things that pull over. So if you add an address, email address, or phone number, it will not push into Google Contacts. I have also added a job title and company name. And then if you look at the birthday, the format for the birthday is going to be year, month, day. Okay, the last thing that I'm going to add is a tag. So let's go over here in Google Contacts. We're gonna give this an update. And you can see the job title, company name, and that tag that we added. 
you can see the different phone numbers, the address, birthday, and that relationship. Okay, and each of these fields can be updated except for this email address. You want to leave that alone if at all possible. But let's move on to the Google Contacts to Follow Up Boss integration. So for this integration, it's very similar to follow-up boss to Google Contacts. You send the lead through due to a creation. So you're going to click Create Contact. And the required fields are going to be first name, last name, and email address. The Google integration runs on polling. So as soon as they send us the information, we send it through. But sometimes it can take a few minutes to actually push through. So be aware of that as well. Go ahead and click Save. And we will see it over in Follow-up Boss in just a moment. As you can see, the lead has gone through. We get a little bit of information here showing that it came via Google Contacts and it was assigned to myself because that is who created it over in Google Contacts. We've got the first name, last name, and email address. And we can see that tag that was added uh, automatically through the integration. So over here in Google Contacts, the information that sends through is very similar. Labels and or tags will need an extra update as well as any relationships that you add will need an extra update such as updating the phone number or the address. So I'm going to fill in some of this information and we'll send it on through. Okay, so on here we have added the company name, job title. I've added two phone numbers. We've got a street address for the birthday. It's going to be month, day, year and that's for Google Contacts. And then I have a relationship. Before I save this, I'm going to go ahead and add a tag here. And we're gonna click Save. All of this information will pass through into Follow Up Boss. Okay, and as you can see, it created a little note here stating that the lead was updated. We've got the two phone numbers, the address, our relationship. And then down here, we see the job title, company name, and that birthday. And again, this information can be updated over in Google Contacts as well, but try and leave that email address alone. This concludes our video for the Follow Boss and Google Contacts integrations. Thank you so much for watching.